Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I trust you are well. Yesterday, uh, the cabinet, the outgoing cabinet, and the chairmanship of the president uh, voted or resolved or whatever it is to let in GMO uh, maize and other seeds, both for propagation and you know for planting and all that. And uh, this has started a serious debate among some of the forum online forums that I belong to uh, because one of the things is GMO was banned uh, from I think 2012 or 2013 somewhere around there for some reasons which we were not told but those who read a lot like I do have gone um, I found that I found out that um, basically speaking uh, this GMOs may not be safe or may be safe it doesn't matter it's up to you how you decide but they have in inbuilt in them the capability to build to fight uh, to fight vermin you know they're, they're, so they are poisonous so the question would be would that poison find its way into your body and what does it do, do, do to you however the other thing i know that i've read a bit uh, I'm, I'm not i don't claim to have been to, to have read a lot but i like to find out certain things one of the things i found out when i went to look for um the origins of evolution Organisms will evolve to fight certain threats, basically so. That's why we talk about um, some things getting resistant to, you know, like there's malaria, which is resistant to uh, some medication, because it has evolved to fight that. So these GMOs, uh, which have got something which fights, for example, let's talk about salt. No, not salt. Uh, let's talk about cotton. Sorry about that. Let's talk about cotton. Cotton has some inbuilt insecticide which fights the ball. What is it called? Some some insect which eats them. But because that means that 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 uh, that organism is life, it will start fighting and creating antibodies, if you can call them antibodies, um, that will fight whatever that, um, that that whatever that substance is in that seed. So over time, it becomes resistant, and therefore then it will start, you know, obviously the product will start going down because it will start eating or it will start doing whatever it is not supposed to do to that, which means then we'll need another seed. After a while, it becomes resistant again and so on. That's why you find that, um, in fact, I think vaccination is normally a low dose uh, exposure to whatever you're being vaccinated against so that your body creates antibodies so that it fights that disease. So it's the same thing with these plants and whatever else and whatever. So it means that you get beholden to the person who keeps on modifying those seeds and they are not cheap. So now if the seed I had, the maize seed I had earlier on, uh, before they brought in the pioneer and the doom and whatever, was resistant to these diseases. Because I don't remember in our local shamba when I used to be, to, to where I used to work when I was in primary and high school, you know, in the 70s, I do not remember spraying anything. I do not remember adding any fertilizer the only thing once in a while we do is manure cow manure um, and i remember one time uh, my, my brother came up with a silage uh, you know so it was the natural way to do things so if that was working why do we have to change to something that needs to be to be modified every now and then does that not mean that we are becoming a captive market for the maker of that be it be gmo whatever it is called is it not then really is it not really as being uh, all about the money that this person wants to make sure that we are slaves and then as one of my friends um, in one of the groups was asking was so supposing now we are tied to this gmo is the only one we can grow and then uh, they decide that because we are siding with ukraine or russia or whatever that is some argument which has nothing to do with us then I decide to support one side which they don't like. Then they say, we'll not give you the seed. That means we'll stay without food, isn't it? Yeah. So there are a lot of things. I think, I think we are being rushed into this. I wish we could have some debate on it. I wish we could, you know, open debate. What are the pros or what are the cons? Ask the questions, get honest answers. So that when you make a decision and we should have it as a, because it's affecting all of us, then we should have a common a decision by the majority. Just like we made a decision by the majority to have Ruto as our president, should we not have the same? The other thing I'm seeing is the rush. We are being rushed. 
as as one of the other guys mentioned, is like this maze is already on the high seas. It will be landing tomorrow. So these are just decisions which have already been made for whatever reasons, for financial gain or for some people, and then we are being rushed into you know it's an emergency. Because as I asked, yes, there are people who are dying of hunger, but the warning signs have been there for the last one year. Why didn't we take action that time? Why did we have to do this rushed action? This 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 rushed action. So that, you know, somebody can take advantage and bring all these things. All about profiteering. Shall we never change?